everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the four wheel drive recreational activity vehicle from Toyota. I'm just telling you the short form of the RAV4 Adventure. Now, a lot of the things have changed from the hybrid to the adventure version and what, what exactly has been changed we are going to be discussing in, in this video and also this is obviously an in-depth video so we're going to cover everything about this car and also a lot of frontal changes because it's an adventure uh, package. Now before moving ahead please consider subscribing to my channel because that way you wouldn't miss any of my video updates and also make sure to press the bell icon so every time a new video comes out you can be the first one to watch it and also if you want to watch the hybrid video of the same RAV4 then you can click somewhere here and then check out the in-depth review video of the hybrid that I did before this car so let's start checking out what is the RAV4 adventure all about starting from the front now I have decided to do a point of view video because it's obviously too windy and it's just that I couldn't keep my stand and it was just falling off so anyways this is just a better way so let's start with the front starting off with in the front you get the adventure grille which if you can see is a completely different one than the hybrid version which was a pretty grille mesh type ones and in this you get the, the, the very differently designed adventure grille for this and also there is no step if you remember in the hybrid there was a step but this has a much more smoother surface if you can see that is just very fluid design and also you get the LED headlamps but no LED fog lamps you get the the halogen fog lamps and at the bottom you get this sort of skirting around so you can the, the sort of approach angle when you are doing off-roading or you are going on a slope so there is this sort of plastic plate which goes underneath and also the black grill the, the sort of plain grill continues at the bottom as well but there is much more masculine look if you see it's much more chunky in the front and it sort of gives you the, the, the adventure vibes and also there's a design change if you see in, near the fog lamps as well in the hybrid there used to be a sort of plastic bit around which was a chrome one but here they've just put like a completely freshly designed uh, you uh, 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 an insert out here for the fog lamps and it looks really nice and mean now on the sides there are 19 inch rims which are the silver and black sort of design which fit perfectly with this car especially this color and if you look closely it's got a dull finish on it and otherwise like they, they actually fit quite well if you see and on the sides you get the power foldable mirrors and then you don't get the blind spot warning system but otherwise if you see the, the design is pretty flowy you get the black bits which is again the adventure part design of it and on the sides you get the smart keyless entry system so if you have the key in your pocket you can just unlock the door by tapping on the handle and the box arches which is uh, which was even in the hybrid and it's also in this car as well and moving on and also a point to mention which i mentioned in the last video as well is these claddings now if you look at it they are a part of the car so the frame is always protected by these claddings or the skirtings which you see which are a part of door and that is why the door is also longer and they, they make sure that the chassis doesn't get dirty so whenever you step out your pants are not dirty moving at the back you get the 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 similar RAV4 look which is from the hybrid as well so not much changes in the back but it's pretty similar but these two exhaustives let me start with that first because they look a little too shabby in my opinion because the attempt is pretty bad as you can see they, there is a half sort of chrome part that is visible and if you look at from the sides you can see that it's just half and it just looks pretty bad and also from the front if you see the tip and the, the, the chrome tip and the exhaust tip they don't actually merge quite well and also they are too short and that is why you can see both the tips and I wish they had made it a little more longer or, or it was a little oval shape or something but otherwise again at the bottom also you get the, 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 the plastic bit which goes underneath to protect the body from underneath when you do um, sort of off-roading. The tailgate is operated by the button out here 
or also it is operated using the remote control you can close it and open it using the remote control and at the back you get ample of space a precisely 580 liters of space when the seats are folded down but when the seats are folded down you get are you ready 1960 liters of boot space yes and that's quite a lot now let me show you how the seats fold that's how you open them and put them down and both of them go down and then there is a lot of space inside and also you get this this sort of uh, space at the back to put something there is also a 12 volt 120 watt uh, power outlet out here there's a cool light out here and then there is also a partition which is put in the back in case you want to put that and that is pretty clever because maybe some if you are someone who doesn't want to use that then you can put it back there the the simple way to close this is by pressing the button out here or also if you just pull the tailgate it will just close the doors the tailgate without you worrying much now step inside the RAV4 uh, adventure and things are pretty well arranged and pretty neatly done and that is I am pretty much happy to report to you that now to start off with you get this orange sort of detailing everywhere around even the stitching out here and there is this orange tray and then there is this orange sort of lining around the wireless charging there's also orange uh, bordering around the cup holders there is this one out here as well there's a small tray out here and you also get this combination of white and black and orange which looks really neat unlike the the hybrid which had a, a sort of brown and uh, beige and also sort of tan interiors which weren't really going along well but in this it looks beautiful and pretty elegant but uh, otherwise you get the the normal plastics on this uh, but here on the dashboard you get soft touch plastics out here also soft touch all this is plastic even this is plastic but solidly made now the steering wheel is pretty simple and it also comes very similar to the the Camry and the the hybrid versions as well there are for hybrid so you get the very similar steering wheel which has the cruise control on your uh, on your right side and the, the media control or your infotainment control on the left side and then then you go into the dashboard and then you get a seven inch uh, multi information display which shows you all the information related to the vehicle how to change how to uh, you can even change your uh, your speedometer from digital to the analog if you want and also you can uh, view all the information during the drive as to how much is your efficiency what is the drive mode how much is the power going to each wheel that is really cool which I really like you know to show you how, how much power is being delivered to all the four wheels at any point of time that looks really nice on the door itself you get a lot of storage space which is where in which you can put about a liter or a liter and a half of water and in terms of other storage space you get the glove box the you also get the hand rest, which is quite enough to put a uh, couple of big bottles inside and also there is this wireless charging out here but otherwise when you're not using it you can store something out here also in the rear door bins you can put about a liter and a half bottle which is quite good now continuing with the ac it comes with the dual knobs which has rubber sort of uh, dials and that is pretty nice when you when you try to use it because it gives you a very grippy feel and it's a it's a pretty similar one to the the hybrid version but in this you don't get the ventilated seats aircon system is pretty straightforward and everything has a button and then there is a digital display to show you what is what is the temperature and what is the fan speed and also uh, the it's a dual contr climate control system so even the passenger can control uh, his or her ac the ac is also given at the back as well so you get rear vents for the the passenger as well the rear passengers as well the infotainment system comes with a 7 inch touch screen uh, and also it comes with the physical buttons now Toyota makes sure to give you all the physical buttons as well because in case you are you are someone who wants to use the buttons then you can use that as well one good thing that Toyota has done is put the knobs back out here yes in the hybrid version there were buttons for your volume and also your your scrolling bu uh, button on the right side but in this they put the knobs back and I am so happy and it's got all the features like your home your menu your audio and 
but it doesn't come with uh, your your full fledged android auto or apple car play and also it doesn't come with the inbuilt navigation system like the hybrid version now that is something which 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 i was expecting like a map or something because i use extensively maps when i am driving around especially in uae it comes with your standard bluetooth your auxiliary uh, connections and your fm and and your usb as well also the music system comes with six speaker system and in the standard models like the gx or the gxr you get four speaker system but in this you get six speaker music system and it works quite well now you get one usb cable and you get one 12 volt 120 watt power outlet uh, underneath the the ac controls and also you get the wireless charging feature you can put your phone and if your phone is capable of wireless charging it would just charge your phone and also there is uh, another 12 volt uh, option available out here socket power socket and then there are two uh, USB 2.1 ampere power outlets at the back as well. Continuing with the seats, I really love the seats and their design because first of all they've used the orange, grey and sort of white uh, kind of the, the grey and the dark grey colour that they've used for the seats and they look really nice and there is this sort of orange uh, stitching uh, everywhere around the seats and that gives it a really premium feeling. The seats are made of synthetic leather but the comfort level is just amazing during the long run and the seats come with your 8-way controllable function so you can move it forward, backwards, upwards, downwards and also recline or uh, or, uh, or put, get it in the front and also you can you have the lumbar support option and that works really well but it doesn't go up and down but it just uh, gives you at the lower back but which is still quite amazing and the passenger seat is just uh, normal uh, manual control it doesn't come electronically controlled so only the driver seat is electronically controlled this car comes with a full-fledged panoramic sunroof now this is an adventure version and you get the panoramic sunroof as an option in this one but if you go for the gx version or the gxr version you get the standard uh, sunroof now the gear lever is pretty chunky and it's very similar to the hybrid as well the hybrid version as well so you get the parking reverse neutral drive and the sport mode and you can take the manual control with the flick of the using the stick but it doesn't come with any paddle shift so next to that there is this knob which uh, which will allow you to change the various driving modes so it comes with your mud and sand mode and rock and dirt mode and also it comes with your sport mode your normal mode your eco mode and your snow mode and it also got the hill decline assist as well continuing at the back it's a pretty comfortable uh, ride if you're a passenger and riding in the rear of the RAV4 and uh, start off with you get the plastic door guards on the rear doors as well and the seats are pretty comfortable for long runs and also there is quite a bit of space if you can see there is enough of space and the seats are quite behind as well and there is also a lot of uh, headroom but it's quite it's quite surprising that you know the car which is sloping kind of uh, downwards at the back but it's still got a quite a decent amount of sunroof uh, sort of uh, headspace in the back you also get the uh, hand rest and also two cup holders at the back as well the shoulder line on the doors is pretty good so the rear visibility is quite good as well and then another feature that i mentioned in the hybrid video as well was that getting in and out is pretty simple because the level of uh, the 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 seat the rear seats is pretty flat uh, like quite easy when you want to come in and out of the car so in the rough for adventure you get a 2.5 liter four cylinder non turbocharged engine that produces 203 brake horsepower and 242 newton meters of torque now this is essentially the same uh, engine from the hybrid and also the camry hybrid as well so it's just the 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 hybrid bit has been removed and as a result of this they, this car weighs about 600 kgs less than the hybrid version. Now, the hybrid version used to weigh, uh, weighs around 2.2 tons, but this car weighs about uh, 1,640 kilograms. And that weight saving out here is pretty visible in this car as well. I'm going to come to that as well. Now, this, this engine has been mated to an 8-speed transmission, which in my opinion is a bit uh, sluggish in terms of gear changes because press the throttle 
and it takes a while to change some gears and get the the, the desired speed that you want to go at and also the engine lacks the the response when you press the throttle is probably to do with the fact that the throttle response is also a little on the on the on the slower side as well and that is why but even i tried changing it to a sport setting but all it does is just improves the throttle uh, the response times of uh, the response time of the throttle let me tell you like for an everyday use the 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 engine and the gear setup is pretty good also the the whole system has been uh, uh, clubbed with a four wheel drive system the four wheel drive system works quite okay and, and it's just an everyday kind of system but it's a very clever system where the the car calculates how much power or the torque is required to each wheel and that is uh, that you can also see it on your dashboard when you change the settings and you can see how much power uh, or the torque the four wheels are are being given at any point of time but the car comes with different sort of modes which is your mud and sand mode and also your rock and the and uh, dirt mode but when you put on that the the car still sort of has this tendency and it also even switches off the the traction mode but it still sort of lacks this confidence when you go or take it off roading maybe on the on the rocks it uh, on the rocky surface it does quite well but on the sandy surface it sort of feels a little nervous and and, and, and it's it's a little shaken when you take it onto the the sand but there is this sort of weird sound which keeps coming if you hear see every single time and i don't know what that exactly here on the left side i can hear where the sound is coming from it's on the left side but there is this sort of whining noise i don't know what is that but every time i accelerate and decelerate there is that sound which comes the steering is electronic steering and it's a pretty responsive steering in terms of the 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 change of directions but it only lags the during some moments when when you are at high speed there is a lot of vibrations that you can feel from the steering wheel especially when you go above 120 kilometers and you are driving at those speeds but otherwise the steering is pretty nice and the fact that it doesn't let you feel any weight of the car it's very light like a car which is about 100 and 1650 kilograms and for a car like that and the steering wheel just doesn't let you realize this car comes with a very softer suspension settings and as a result of that the ride is comfortable but what that does is it gives you a roll and the roll isn't really confident giving when you are driving at higher speeds and when you take a sharp turn the the roll is quite evident now the nvh level which is the noise vibration levels in this car are pretty modest or or or, or i would say like you can feel quite a lot of sound especially at higher speeds this way also the engine noise is is quite uh, quite uh, leaking inside the cabin as well and also there is a lot of wind whooshing so this car comes with uh, four disc brakes and the pedal setup is on the softer side but yet it works quite well initially there is a lag from the system but apart from that the the brakes work quite well in the safety department you get dual airbags for the passenger and the driver you also get a driver's uh, knee airbag as well you also get uh, curtain airbags you also get side airbags dual for the driver and the passenger as well and curtain airbags for the passengers in the rear as well now in terms of other safety system you also get a rear view camera now rear view camera is one of the finest as i mentioned before even in the hybrid version it was so good and it continues in this uh, adventure uh, the rav4 adventure as well and the camera system is pretty clear the, it's so crisp it's it's one of the nicest systems i have seen you also get abs you get electronic brake distribution you get hill descent assist as well child seat fixing points which are your iso fix points and also there is a vse your vehicle stability system and also there is a traction control system so in terms of safety this car is pretty loaded and it comes with a lot of uh, safety system which is pretty much a toyota thing they give you with a lot of safety features 
Now, in my opinion, this this car falls somewhere in a bracket where it, it can do a lot of adventurous stuff if you want to go around with your family, and also it can be a utilitarian car as well, which where you can put a lot of stuff in the back if you want your bicycles or if you want. Uh, a lot of luggage that you want to move around then you can put it in the back as well because it's obviously got a lot of uh, boot space and the, even the seats are foldable so in terms of that you find a lot of space at the back as well but otherwise this car fits on a very day to day basis and also in terms of fuel efficiency it's a pretty good car like it, it's returning me an average of 10 to 11 kilometers per liter while the claim average is 14 which is pretty close it's also got 55 liters of fuel tank capacity so uh, you get a range of about 500 kilometers 500 to 550 kilometers if you have if you are averaging about 10 so uh, it's 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 a good car when when you are looking for a good family option because this car is in direct competition with the with a Mazda CX-5 and also the Honda CR-V but if you look at it the the reliability of Toyota is just next level which I'm I'm pretty sure you must be knowing it's a pretty good option if you are looking to buy a very day to day kind of SUV and make sure to check this car out so that is pretty much it for in this video now if you want to check out the RAV4 hybrid video then I'll be putting the link in the description as well make sure to check that out and if you want to have a comparison between the adventure and the hybrid then you can do that as well anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here there and if you want to watch more videos then you can click here anyways see you in the next video